give you one more example regarding this dependent value. Hmm. So let me just go to the demo incident uh, form. I am actually on the demo incident form. So what my client is asking is that who, whatever the group that you select here, whatever the group that you selected here, suppose you have selected application development group. Here in the assign to field, you should be able to see only application development group members. You should be able to see only application development group members. So this requirement, we can do it in two ways. I will tell you the easiest way. And I will tell you the difficult way when the time pass by. Not now. I will tell you the easiest way using dependent value. So this assign to field values are dependent on this assignment group. Now what I will do, I will go to this particular assign to field. Okay. So here, just click on advanced view. You will be able to see dependent field here. Okay. So in the dependent field, in the dependent field tab, what you can do is, you can give the field name of assignment group, u underscore. That's it. So, guys, please go on mute. So, here I am actually selecting application development group as actually assignment group. Okay. I have selected application development as actually assignment group. So, if I click on this magnifying glass, I should be able to see assignment group members only. So, here I should be able to see application development group members only I am able to see here. I am not able to see all the users here. Okay, if I select some other user here, if I select some cab approval, so only cab approval group members I should be able to see here. See, these are actually cab approval group members. Okay, <clears throat> so this is actually easiest way to achieve this requirement. But difficult way is actually writing advanced reference qualifier. Difficult way is actually writing advanced reference qualifier. But we will be learning that part as well in coming sessions. Okay. So 